the top 15 things that you should not buy at Costco for your stockpile and your preps. Guys, none of these are a good deal. Number one, peanut butter powder. Now, for those of you who do not know what peanut butter powder is, it is peanut butter that's in dried form and all you do is add water to it and then you have peanut butter. It's a very convenient way to have peanut butter in your stockpile and your preps. And it doesn't go bad as fast as regular peanut butter. It's great for smoothies and making things like peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter powder is a great addition to have on hand, but if you buy it at Costco, it is $12.49 for a jar, just 41 cents an ounce. If you get it at Walmart, it's $15.70 for the same brand. But if you get the Walmart Great Value brand, it's only $10.48. If you buy it at Walmart, you're not persnickety about brands. Walmart is a much better deal. Kirkland Coffee. If you get it at Walmart, it's $14.99 for, I think, three pounds. $4.99 a pound. That's my pheasant. See if I can catch him. But if you go to Walmart, it is $6.98 for 22 ounces. That's $3.52 a pound. So that's about a 40% savings on coffee if you buy the great value at Walmart instead of the Kirkland brand at Costco. Spaghetti. Costco is $12.99 for eight pounds. That's $1.46 per pound. Walmart, it's $2.72 for four pounds. That's 68 cents a pound, more than half savings. Diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes at Costco are $3.99 for 102 ounces, so it's three cents an ounce. And at Walmart, it's 70, at Walmart, it's 72 cents an ounce for 14 ounces, which is five cents an ounce. Why do I say you shouldn't buy this at Costco instead of Walmart? Even though Walmart is more expensive, because 102 ounces is a really large can of diced tomatoes. Most people do not use that many diced tomatoes at once. And if you're in an emergency situation, you may not have a way to refrigerate the leftovers if you need to. Now, tomatoes, you probably wouldn't need to refrigerate for one or two days and they would probably be just fine because they don't have any meat in them, but still, I would rather see you get the small cans and use what you need and not have to worry about storing food or wasting extra food. Regular peanut butter, Costco, it's $9.99, so that's 17 cents an ounce. At Walmart, it's $1.72, which is nine cents an ounce. Once again, almost half the price if you buy it at Walmart over Costco. Now, let me just say, I know Costco has some supposedly better brands. <gasps> Have mercy. Well, it's just a regular zoo around here today. <laughs> Holy cow, where did they go? Okay, back to what I was saying. Sorry <laughs> for that little interruption there. I know that Costco has organic and name brands, so I'm comparing that to Walmart Great Value. But here's the thing, guys. You really can't get persnickety when it comes to prepping and stockpiling, and really, in general, just saving money on food. Everybody's hollering about inflation, except that regular, everyday store brand foods really have not gone up in price very much, if at all, at the moment. So, you're gonna have to stop being picky and you may have to eat store brand or generics. There's a dog in my yard looking for the deer. Brother. Ready-made foods. Now, I will admit, I about had a cow when I saw this bucket of food costs $59, 
And then this other one only had three pounds of food and 13 servings of food was $70. $70 for 13 servings of food. Guys, these ready pre-made 25 year foods are a huge waste of money. If you want to get a few to have in your bug out bag or whatever, that they're lightweight, they're usually freeze dried and you just add some water. Okay, I can see that. I would not spend a lot of money on these. 90% of them taste absolutely nasty. And quite frankly, they're just a huge waste of money. You could spend $10 and get canned beans and minute rice, not even the regular rice, but minute rice if you need something just to pour boiling water over or just to soak in water. You could spend $10 on both of those and you could have a lot more meals for way cheaper. So that's the route I would go over buying the ready-made meals. Flour, Costco, it is $10.19 or 40 cents a pound. If you get it at Walmart, it is $1.56 or 30 cents a pound. Sugar at Costco, it is $7.96 for 10 pounds. $17.99 for 25 pounds. At Walmart, it is $3.92 for 10 pounds and $13.13 for 25 pounds. That is a huge savings. Almost $8 for 10 pounds versus almost $4 for 10 pounds at Walmart. Guys, that's more than half. That's about 60% savings if you buy it at Walmart versus Costco. Costco is super expensive on their flour and their sugar. Baking soda is $7.69 or $0.57 cents a pound at Costco. At Walmart, it is $2.72 for the big one, which is $0.77 cents a pound. So why do I think this is a bad deal if it's actually cheaper at Costco? Because you can get the small boxes of the great value baking soda and it's about $0.70 cents a pound. Now this kind of goes back to the same thing as the tomatoes. But the difference is baking soda will last for, I mean, a long, long time if it's open. So for this one, it's just up to you if you want to mess with a big bag of baking soda or a little box. That's totally up to you. When I can only find the big bags, I put in a mason jar baking soda for my baking so i'm not having to handle a huge bag of baking soda and spill it or have it poof everywhere so another preference whichever one you prefer that's up to you but it is cheaper at costco cinnamon at costco ground cinnamon is three dollars and 69 cents or 34 cents an ounce at walmart it is 47 cents an ounce but look at this. If you get the big container like at Costco, it's 61 cents an ounce. Guys, bulk does not always save. As a matter of fact, it can cost you significantly more to buy in bulk than to buy just the regular normal sized packages. Now, cinnamon, once again, are you going to use this much cinnamon? It's worth 10 cents saving. If you use cinnamon all the time, then I would go ahead and get it at Costco. But if you don't, then go ahead and get the smaller ones and keep them sealed and they will keep their freshness a lot longer. Italian seasoning, same thing. $5.99 for the big one at Costco. So it's $1.08 an ounce. It is a little bit cheaper for 98 cents at Walmart at $1.30 three per ounce but if you want to get even cheaper buy the individual spices basil oregano thyme buy them separately and make your own using the recipe in our dining on a dime cookbook you can make it for about 25 cents an ounce it's even cheaper to make so it's cheaper and super fast and easy to make the recipe is in the description below. Canola oil, $13.15 for three quarts. That makes it $2.19 a quart at Costco. $8.48 a gallon, which is $2.12 a quart. For those of you who don't know how to transfer that, there are four quarts in a gallon. So I just divided everything by quarts. The 1315 divided by three and then the 848 divided by four and that's how i got my numbers so it is cheaper at walmart olive oil 14.99 for a liter it's 
33 cents an ounce, 4.76 for a bottle that equals 18 cents per ounce. So it's definitely a lot cheaper, like 65, 70% savings if you get olive oil at Walmart versus Costco. Ready-made emergency soups. This is back to the emergency food guys. It was $13.99 for six of them, which is fairly expensive, $2.31 each. If you get something similar, it's $1.98 for 26 ounces at Walmart. Or if you get something like Progresso, it's $1.98, which is 10 cents an ounce. So I would stock up on your canned soups instead of the emergency ready-made soups once again. Tomato soup, it's $10.89 for 12 at Costco, which makes them 90 cents each. At Walmart for Campbell's tomato soup, it's $1.17. So if you're like my mom, who's persnickety about her tomato soup, I know, she's always been that way, I can't help it. It is almost 30 cents cheaper per can to get it at Costco. But if you're not persnickety, it's only 58 cents for the great value brand, which is significantly cheaper, almost half, about a 40% savings if you buy the great value brand instead of buying the Campbell's tomato soup. Tuna is $11.99, which is 40 cents per ounce. Walmart, it is $1 for 20 cents per ounce. So it is half the price if you buy your tuna from Walmart instead of Costco. Guys, this is why it is super important to know your prices. If you don't know how to keep track of prices, please go check out our price book. It's in the description below, super easy to use. It will help you keep prices so that you know if you are always getting the best deal. Guys, head over right now and watch our video, 10 things you never think to stockpile but should, and visit us at livingonadime.com.